Aquarius, welcome. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I'm going to do a reading. It's the second week of October uh, and it is the 7th of October. Uh, I'm going to look into your person first. So just let's dive right into your reading. Aquarius, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And anyone that is new viewing the channel, welcome. It's very nice to have you here. If this reading resonates, that's great. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. Uh, check out other signs as well in your chat. And uh, Aquarius, let's just see uh, who is showing up in your energy. What are their feelings and tensions? What is happening around this person? And we're gonna look into your energy, Aquarius. So you might be dealing with a business a man, or you could be an Aries. This is someone that, uh, well, they wanna strut their, um, they wanna strut their power in a way as well. Um, there could be someone that, like they tried to do something that was to overpower you or they thought they could uh, show their authority and get away with something that, yeah, I feel there's an energy around you here that they thought they could get away with something. Maybe they thought you were different. They thought you were... <laughs> You would just um, accept um, whatever behavior they, they pulled here, I feel. Aquarius, yeah, definitely. I see this person, mm, yeah, everything's fine here. They understand that you are nowhere to be seen. They're trying to connect with you, maybe telepathically. They are trying to sort of attract you back in. We have the, the, the magician in reverse. I feel this person is in a third party. I feel this person could be dealing with the queen of pentacles and I feel like there's a cycle that have come to an end in their life and um, this person is going through a transformation. Instead of, I feel like instead of this person leaving you and thinking they're gonna come back here and that, uh, you know, they did something here to shake up this connection, to disturb this connection here. And I feel this person is regretting it. They now understand that it was you that provided genuine love. They miss what you had together. They miss uh, this connection because it's fun. It was uh, pure love. It was very innocent as well. They know that you are the queen bee, basically. They know that you are the queen bee. You are the one that is making them happy and they want to get out of this mental entrapment and they want to express that to you. So I feel here that um, someone that didn't take action in love, maybe they made up excuses why they couldn't. They don't necessarily have to have done anything bad towards you, but I feel that this person could have wasted some time by you know, waiting for everything to be in perfect order before they reach out and so on. But then again, they were kind of messing with the wrong queen bee, that's what I'm getting here. Um, maybe they thought that you will hang around, maybe you will wait, maybe you will, you know, I don't know, be patient with them, but mm -mm, no, not you, <laughs> Aquarius. You're, you're definitely not patient with waiting for anyone. I don't really feel necessarily that this is someone that, okay, they didn't do anything bad. I think it's just the lack of action as well, that uh, they were too slow. You snooze, you lose type of thing here. All right. And realizing that you gave them a lot of happiness or you could be the person that make them very, very happy. And uh, you are a catch. So this person now is, uh, well, they are definitely going through a transformation. They see that you are someone that, you know, has it all in a way. They do see you are the one that they they want to be with, really. But I feel like you have released this person here, uh, Aquarius. I do feel that, wow, we have the, the world and the magician. I think that you now are looking at new beginnings for you. You're looking at new opportunities. For many of you, you are willing to let go of everything you once had or everything you once thought were true, everything you you know, used to rely on. I feel like for many of you Aquarius, you might have gone through pain and that cycle have closed. So now you are starting a, a brand new beginning with a blank canvas. I do pick up here that you are going to get sudden news and it's saying here don't give up on manifesting there might be cycles that have closed for you feel oh what what is next but uh yeah it's saying here that you have something very positive um around you aquarius someone is checking you out with the lovers 
Uh, they want to move forward. I mean, they this person... I see this person here, I mean, they are smitten by you, Aquarius. I feel this person, since the moment they lay their eyes on you, this person cannot actually forget about you. They cannot forget about uh, what it will be like to be with you. However, this person better hurry up because I feel here, Aquarius, you are, you know, your strength here. You have been patient. You feel that you have also conquered you know, a difficult situation. Maybe you were stuck for, for a while here as well, but this phase is now over. You have options around you, Aquarius. I see that for many of you, there is sudden, sudden, very, very sudden with the Knight of Swords here coming, sudden new beginnings. Like there has been difficult situations around you where you felt kind of manipulated. You could have been manipulated as well. Um, and it got you in your head. Um, it caused confusion. You caused you stress. Uh, but I feel this is changing rapidly. You are the one that is grabbing the bulls by its horns and saying, okay, these are my skills. I can take my skills and go elsewhere if I'm dealing with difficult energies. But I see here a cycle of dealing with any difficult energies where you are stuck in your head, where you feel blindsided, where you don't feel there is an end to, to problems. This is, this is going to be lifted here. And you are going to regain passion for something that, career, something you want to learn. You, you feel that, okay, this is my road now. This is, this is my new beginning. You are certainly finding your mojo, you're finding your energy, you're finding your passion. That's uh, the focus for many of you Aquarius. Um, now this person here, they are, again, I see here someone that is very much, it's like you are the queen bee, you are the real queen bee, you are the person that they are drawn to, but, and they are saying, oh, maybe everything is fine, but it's not. They want to come towards you, uh, Aquarius. I do see that you have options in love, and you might not even expect that you have so many options here, uh, Aquarius. I feel that you are now looking at several opportunities that is in front of you. Something about a revelation here. I feel that you are breaking a cycle, like you are... Mm, you are finding new people to collaborate with. You might be reflecting for a moment here, but you are sort of like, there's something here that is a bit tough. I feel that going through the motions with like a tough time, like it might feel as in, oh my goodness, like I'm never going to get out of a, a certain like dilemma or I'm never going to get out of a certain argument or I'm never going to get really where I want to be because there are people in the way or it's something about you feeling blind blinded and feel like you're looking at it's like you're seeing the forest but there's you can't see the forest because there's too many trees i really really pick up here aquarius that you will go from one day feeling like i i have opportunities but i'm not sure if i have the confidence i'm not sure where to go like it feels like i don't have the energy you might sort of feel like a bit you know, it's like, oh, I'm coming out of something here, but it's, you're finding yourself, you're definitely finding your passion. You are suddenly getting the grasp of what it is that you want, Aquarius, what it is that is your purpose, what you want to learn, what is your spiritual lessons. And there is someone here that you... You know, you might have thought, oh, that was just someone I, you know, that was a, a crush or that was a person that they seem very nice or, you know, so it's like, like you put them to one side. But I feel here that love is quite close by. Someone is checking you out. Um, I'm going to look in a little bit further into this energy here. All right. So use this um because you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups coming towards you you don't you don't see that at all someone they do want to collaborate with you this person they could have a scorpio in their chart i get gemini taurus pisces and like you don't even know that this person is going to contact you or you don't even know <laughs> that this person will actually, you know, come in here to, um, 
to offer you this new beginning. There could be quite a lot of people around as well. Like you have options, Aquarius. There is an Aries, I feel that uh, there's a twin flame and you feel that now, you, you, you have moved away from this person and this person could be coming in to give you this offer. I feel there is a person here that is a twin flame connection, but you have sort of moved away from this person. The Knight of Cups here, this is someone very sweet here that want, wants to collaborate with you. Wow, I really feel that... Um, there is someone that have that, like they've had to get used to losing you or whoever have not treated you right or whoever is sort of you know trying to come back if there was someone that did hurt you they will not have access to you because i see that you have really close to cycle you are really prepared to like your your road to the new seems it's very tidy and straight ahead, uh, Aquarius. Like, it seems like you have nothing to lose. And because you have nothing to lose, you feel, now you're gaining everything. I really see that you are suddenly, like, finding your passion. And that is very rewarding for you at this time, Aquarius. Um, I, it's, it's like you are starting fresh, um fresh uh, beginning it's something about your feeling is like right actually this is what I want to do and you're doing some research here and like the more you are doing this research you're feeling like oh this is so exciting and you're reigniting the passion for what you want to do in life and you are just coming out of a this cycle of maybe you know someone playing games like that's not going to be part of this new journey someone could have mm, there was an impact in a, an environment here where there was harmony you used to love this place but there is a new beginning here um this person that is slowly but surely coming closer and closer and closer i feel like you and this person will yeah you are going to um receive romantic messages from this person i feel that you suddenly will feel it's the right time for you to move forward with them but they are they're starting quite subtle but this this uh connection here it has the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of um cups here so you know this is a double confirmation of the 10 of cups wow aquarius i do not think that you see this coming you are not seeing this coming at all i'm going to clarify so with it with the empress here so yeah, someone is wants to come out of the call, but you close the cycle with this person. That was an ending. This person, they do want to come back. I see a person here, they wanted to offer you commitment. They have a, this telepathic uh, connection, spiritual, sort of, it's a spiritual connection, but I feel here that this person was in a third party in the past, and this person is realizing that they are no longer confused. They want to come forward. They want to give an offer, but I feel there is a person here. They are more of an opportunity this person is someone that you yeah they are realizing that you are their happiness but I feel like this person is realizing that too late the person in the middle here I feel this is someone that is right for you this person is going to give you the offer that you deserve mm, and yeah but it's a it's a spiritual lesson here I think you will be happy to so someone here that was in a relationship, uh, possibly they have children, they could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, this person could have Virgo in their chart. I feel this person, yeah, they were in a third party situation um, and this relationship or situationship uh, ended with you and them. I see this person taking action. I see this person coming towards you, but they they will quickly have to return to sender. Yeah, this person is returning to sender here. Yeah, as like your the road that you are going towards Aquarius is blocked, it's blocked now. And this person that could have played games with you, uh, they could also send like this evil eye, this, this energy. I don't know what it is about this person here, but it's like they wanted to, I don't know if they're evil eye, but I feel like they try to bind you to them. Like they try to bind you to them in terms of, okay, when I'm done with this situation here, me and Aquarius can be together. So there's different situations here, but someone tried to bind you to them and it did impact your forward movement. You felt stuck. 
And it seems like that energy is going back to them. Um, like that, what well, their manipulation they were doing to, it's, it's not in a bad way, I feel. So it's more, I feel like it's more that they wanted you to wait until they came out of this relationship. But at the same time, that's not a good energy to give. So I feel here you are going to discuss your feelings with someone. I feel this person is not them. I feel this person is a new a house. Mm. I see that there is like you and a person here that is moving like they're towards one another here on this new pathway. This will result in marriage and one of, one of you could have a child. I feel here that, yeah, this is, I feel here Aquarius, um, this is a happy, happy relationship. Uh, it's going to move Fast forward, you could work with this person or this person will come towards you to collaborate. I see that this person will quickly open up or like soon enough, very soon, or sorry, open up to you. Can't speak, it's very late now. Mm, but this person here, I mean, it can be this person. I mean, I just feel here. So there was an ending with you and this person, right? There, I mean, we have the high priestess and we have the emperor. It's a spiritual connection here. They could have a child. So this could very well be the same person, but you have a strong spiritual connection. I feel here though, this person have been married or they've been with someone that, you know, they have wasted time. Uh, there's something about wasting time here and like now they're coming towards you. It, it might also be that this person, again, they have been in a long-term relationship. Maybe they met you or maybe they just didn't move forward at the time where you were open to them. I feel that is here as well. But now this person is going to send you a message. They do put you on a pedestal here. They have gone through a transformation, but there has been for many of you, there's been like a long, long, long haul, you know, silence between the two of you. I'm going to clarify. Uh, so let's see here. The Five of Swords. Uh, the Five of Swords and the Magician and the, the World, please. So it could be this one here, King of Cups, all right? Yeah, it could be this person go coming towards you here, uh, very emotional, uh, opening up to you, very... Um, yeah, this person, if they have Pisces in their chart, it could be them. Anything else of the Queen of Cups here? But I don't know. Yeah, no, there is one person here that can't be trusted. There is one person, definitely, I feel here, yeah. This person caused you some pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that now. There is someone here that did cause you pain, and this person is, uh, is going to reach out. Now they are no longer confused. Uh, right, but you are resting. You have you've had a, enough of of this energy here. This person could have tampered with your. It's like they tampered with your heart. They expect they they affected your, like they try to affect your talent. So this something this person did with their energy. They really like it was to to hurt you because this person wanted to hold on to you. Yeah, while they was playing happy families there was a tower. This person here is from like a very turbulent relationship. Um, like they could have settled with a false twin or false counterpart here. We have the queen of wands in reverse. I feel this person again here. Yeah, they were in your life for the longest time, but it was, there was too many obstacles. Yeah, we're having that like in reverse, knight of wands, five of wands. This person here wanted to keep you stuck on them like a karmic wheel. Yeah, and I feel that you are releasing yourself from that. There is someone here for sure that was tampering, dabbling in something to do with a binding spell. I'm seeing that. Like, it's the end of it with a death card. It is the end of it for sure. Yeah, this person here is, um, they wanted to keep you like stuck uh, so that you're waiting for them for all eternity while, while you know, they're taking their sweet time to get out, out of whatever. So yeah, that is, that's all over. I see that something, it is a strong connection. It can be that you have a very psychic uh, connection that there is a bridge between you and them. Like they're sending you something through this portal. It's, yeah, I, that's what I'm seeing here, um, Aquarius. But I feel that you have closed your heart when it comes to that you're closed the portal. You have closed your, 
you know, the bridge that was built once between you and this person. Now you're building a bridge with a new person here. So someone here was very, very manipulative. You might not have noticed it or it's something they did behind closed doors here. Um, trying to find the way to get back with you. All right, um, you could also know each other's mothers, I'm getting, that's random. There could be to do something with the passing of mother. Something about, there's a connection here that the two of you have, it's a spiritual connection, but like this connection, it's, uh, you know, it did, you, you, you moved away for a reason. Even though this connection is close, I feel there is attraction, there is, Again, a very strong bond here. But yeah, I feel that Aquarius, you are going somewhere else at this time. Your, your happiness is elsewhere, especially with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you are not going to sacrifice another round on this person that is going through. Again, they want to work on this connection. You are definitely dealing with someone that is coming back from the past. It, you know, that could be so many people, but um, you, you just know when you interact with this person that this, this chapter have closed. They're going to be upset about it, clearly, because I feel someone here is going to be trying to sweet talk and be there for you. So someone will be like, I'm your... I'm your savior, you know, knight in shining armor. I can't even speak. Shining armor. I'm the person that will be by your side forever and ever. But then, when you think about what they've done in the past and what went wrong, there was an ending. Like you did go through something that was difficult in terms of this person. So yeah, I think you know that, and I feel here, Aquarius. You are, there's a new opportunity um, that is going to make you happy. For, for many of you, you are really focusing on your passion and what drives you in life. What is, what is the everyday life that you strive for and will make you happy? What will you, what will you invest your time in? Uh, Aquarius, I really feel here that you will find your flow. And as you find your flow, you are meeting the person that you will marry here. There is a child between the two of you. There is a house waiting for the two of you to move in. There will be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here with this person. Well, we have already <laughs> a lot of messages uh, here that is signifying that the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here is, is showing that this is the journey, well, this is the path you're taking and this is the person you're taking your next journey with, but I feel it's two people. So anything else here for Aquarius? Who is the person that they're going to move forward with uh, with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, please. Any messages to share with Aquarius? Mm, yeah, someone is going to need a chill pill, basically. Someone is definitely going to take a chill, or need to take a chill pill. <laughs> because they did not give the Empress the offer she deserved. They declined the Empress. They hurt the Empress. They burdened the Empress. They were confused about the Empress. They were breadcrumbing the Empress. So I think that it is not this person that you're moving forward with, but they're poking their head out the door, <laughs> uh, opening, and this person is, uh, you know, going to make a, some kind of a move in your direction. So for all of you, like some of you could have daily contact with them for a while they come in and say oh they're they are now your good friend or there could be someone that is going to be sweet talking you to you for a little while uh, Aquarius but I feel that you are you know you are filling up your cup to yourself you are rejecting their apology here I see that you are protecting yourself from this person I feel yeah this is, there's someone here that want to travel. They want, they want to travel to see you. Um, yeah. 
but it looks like Aquarius, you are going to focus on your talents. You are going to focus on your success. Uh, you might be putting love to one side. I feel here that you're going to invest in your success, in your future. I feel that you... Now, now you know that it is the time to focus on your talents, your success and focus less on love really because for many of you, you know that when you find your flow, when you find, you know, your, the role that you're supposed to be on, something about your career and your passion, that's when you will find the love that you're meant to be with as well and be careful with this person coming back towards you because for many of you this person isn't necessarily a um an ex that okay they blocked you and you never seen them since for many of you it could be a friend or it could be someone that is using that or oh, let's be friends approach or oh, I will be there for you I'm here for you type of thing so yeah that's uh, what the spirits is advising you to be very careful with this person's energy because they have a um, they have a way of uh, just appearing kind of as you see here when you are moving forward and are you are regaining your you know it's your energy your drive basically your your drive is you know, at, at, at a peak here, Aquarius, and you've been, you know, you've been wasting some time here, perhaps not utilizing your talents, feeling stuck, feeling that you're in a wrong place, feeling that, gosh, you know, some something is holding me back, what is holding me back, and again, it could be limiting beliefs, I feel here that you've had energies around you, Aquarius, that have been mean to you you have someone here that is they have they want to hold you back they want to affect your confidence they want to affect your strength they want to cast illusions they want you to stay stagnant they don't want you to find love and that's not very good intention they wanted to deplete you this person wanted you to suffer they wanted you to lose your job this person wanted to steal from you here Yes, it's the king of cups here. This person is not very nice. There's someone here that is very, very, very manipulative. And this person here, you've had an ending with this person. So yeah, be very careful of this energy. Someone here is flat out very, very jealous of you. And they're very uh, like bitter that you will not move forward with them, basically. Yeah, someone here is, gosh, they have a few screws loose. Because you have told them your peace of mind, there is someone here, be very careful with them. They are very emotional, very, very, very manipulative here. So yeah, as, as we are uh, moving through the reading, I'm picking up this energy stronger and stronger here. It's just someone that will come in and they are going to be very sweet they are going to look good they are going to have good intentions when it comes to what they say to you anything else here for aquarius yes to have the victory that you are you of your desires aquarius you go towards the new here and you could be dodging a tower moment here, Aquarius. Yeah. Someone here is trying to affect your success. They don't want you to, to be successful. They don't want you to uh, feel happy. They don't want you to excel. So someone could be, could have really managed to, you know, affect your energy, slow you down here. Uh, yeah, there's a very very, very terrible energy, yeah, and now they regret it as well, on top of it, yeah, I see this person, yeah, see here, they want what you have, and your happiness, they know that each time you are, you are becoming happy and successful, this person here is, is around you, they're very jealous, 
Wow, see here, they're trying to deplete you here. So Aquarius, it says here, make sure here you have new opportunities. I see here, Aquarius, you have someone that's trying to steal from you. This King of Cups here, this is someone that's in a third party situation. Their, their home might have fallen apart. This might be a Virgo. This person didn't take any action. This person is very, very manipulative. They have someone around them as well that is like... They have a, a bit of a crowd around them that, you know, it's always someone walking away from someone here. I feel this person here is, there's a lot of gossip. Like your energy here is, like there's a lot of, it's like in a work situation as well. This here will end. It's, it's ending. Gosh. Gosh, some of you Aquarius have, um, they really got some really terrible... <laughs> energies around you what is this uh, like there is someone here that really they're on a mission to sabotage you like like they cannot stand that you are like getting what you want here and that you are not what you i mean they are not what you want someone here is on a mission to delay your success. So be very careful of this person here. They're very obsessed with you. They try to watch your every move. They have an addiction and they're trying to, you know, keep it under wraps. They, this is someone that is like a classic narcissist where, you know, you, you will see them, of course, they have their, their good moments, but this person here is vicious. This person here is vicious. Basically staying in their company, you will not have success because someone here is very vicious. I see this person, I mean, some of you might uh, like be in their environment or something like that and and they, they're just coming at you, uh, Aquarius. Uh, I can't, I keep getting the same cards, you know. Um, it's like they know that you have raised the bar. They know that you are not moving forward with this person. They definitely know that. And that is making them so angry. It's making them so angry that you are not also afraid of, you're going to but soon enough tell this person like where to go here, Aquarius, right? This person was juggling you. You have cut this person off. This is someone that feels like entitled almost to your energy. See the death. Many of you are leaving something behind that it's just a matter of time. It's really just a matter of time here. Maybe someone killed a childhood dream. You feel like you can't breathe in the environment. You feel, or maybe there's people from your childhood. There's something about you. You feel like you can't breathe here. And, and, and once you cut someone off, see, we have someone here that is willing to sabotage you at all costs. Someone is like that. Like, I mean, this is someone that is so obsessed with controlling you that they can't think about anything else. There is also someone here that have a third party that is like that. So we have a, uh, yeah, see, Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah, there is someone here that is going through a really, really terrible ending. Yeah, they are upset. My goodness. Wow. You you have some energies lurking behind. You tell me in the comments, man. But there is someone behind the scenes that seems to be blaming you for everything. Like, they... Wow. They're trying to lure you back in or... This person can't believe that you're not one of their options anymore. Incoming calls, the tower, they have a child here. Wow. I feel, so this is two separate energies. There is someone here that's coming into your life. This person, you could work with them. It's very sweet, nice energy. That is separate, but um, yeah, you have a an energy here that you should be staying away from at all costs, Aquarius. Um, Sweet Jesus. It can also be like there is an energy attached to some. There is a lot of quarrel and competition and trying to win at all costs. The five of pentacles. 
My God, the queen of wands in reverse. Like, there is a dynamic around, either this is in a work environment where there is like this poor mentality, like tit for tat, like let's just always try to screw each other over. And this could be sort of a vibe that is, uh, you're tired from it. Uh, you, you might not necessarily see it day to day, but there is definitely an, an energy here. This is someone that is coming into your life as well. It can be that that energy is near them, but there is a really like, someone here is yeah hitting poverty and they're trying to give that poverty to you, Aquarius. I don't know why. Anything else here, it's like nothing, like they have no business. Uh, in, in your business, but they're not no business there. <laughs> Someone here blames you for, I don't know, this is very weird. Wow, the devil. Someone is so jealous and petty. Maybe you blocked someone. I know Aquarius is uh, famous for blocking people, but whoever you block, like this person is like, can't deal with it. Like something about a wedding or this good person could have Virgo in their chart, maybe Leo, Leo. My God, someone here is very obsessed with you, obsessed with, see, the Empress in reverse. They want to, it's like, they want you to lose. This person is very jealous, very obsessed. If they can't have you, no one else can have you. That's their attitude. See, the three of swords, they also move forward with someone. They move forward with someone here that, um, you know, they there could have been a miscarriage. There is just something that went down here that it ain't good. A lot of gossip here, or a lot of, like there's like a narcissistic and unhuman side, non-human side, sorry. Um, yeah, stealing, karmic wheel, you name it trying to push someone down, trying to cause chaos, gossip. Like there's nothing good to say. <laughs> and then you have here Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. There, I think someone possibly that's coming towards you could be coming from this and they are detached detached from that. It is possible because the energy is so intense. Because you have this positive uh, new beginning here, Aquarius. And I feel... It is possible that someone right now that is going to be in your life, Aquarius, that is new, that is new, a new person, so you don't know their history, anything like that, they are leaving this mayhem. So be aware of it because, well, you tell me, but I suppose you're not inviting this jazz into your garden, but there is someone that is going to show up in your life that it is that ultimate love and very strong connection, all right? But I believe it is someone here that have something attached to it's like blowing up. They probably will tell you about it, but doesn't, you know, it's like very toxic, very stressful. And you're gonna have to think twice about, all right, even if you have love for this person, it's something about keeping someone on a distance. But I think it's someone that won't tell you about it. It's coming up in the cards. Uh, for some of you, yeah, maybe you, you, this person here is, it is like a third party situation. There's always some kind of chaos. Now they are saying as well, well, I've ditched this person for Aquarius. So, there is something about a third party uh, situation, which is very, very toxic here. Like not just a little bit, very toxic. Like people are planning to eat each other for dinner. Like they are, <laughs> the terrible energy. <laughs> Oh my God. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a kind of energy where people steal each other's everything. It's a, it's a very bad situation. And well, someone have left though, but they are, they have said they're leaving to yours, which might not have been the best idea to, to tell someone. Yeah, see, they want to celebrate with you. It, you know, the three of swords, there could be a loss of trust here. Could be an unhappy job as well for some of you. Uh, Aquarius, um, you might know this person. 
life improves here, renewed enthusiasm as well, improved finances. I feel here uh, there is, again, staying positive at work, uh, good guy at work, at your work, good at your work, sorry, people, you could be, there's some collaboration here, I feel like you are finding the harmony as well, you are the empress here, and, uh, well, yeah, well, I, I believe that this person that is coming into to you, like, that's, that they're leaving this, it is them, uh, they could have Aries in their chart, um, they could have Scorpio in their chart, but let me tell you, they <laughs> they can never go back there if they come towards you. That's for sure here. But, oh, they can be a Libra. There's just like a whole hell going on. So, <laughs> well, I feel like this person here, right, They someone threatened them not to, to move towards you. It could also be a work environment here where they're saying they, they want to collaborate with you and there's a lot of gossip and someone here is trying to manipulate them, the situation here. This person have feelings for you. There is someone here, Aquarius, that will tell everyone that they have feelings for you and people cannot take it. But it's yours for the taking, uh, Aquarius, definitely. <laughs> It's definitely yours for the taking. Um, so, well, uh, please like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. I'll see you very soon. Take care.